All right, y'all, quick videos, crazy update on the Kyrie Irving situation. Um, so Jalen Brown recently came out, gave his opinion on the situation. Um, and with Kyrie Irving, as y'all know, he got suspended for five games for because he refused to apologize for posting a link to this film. So Jalen Brown, who is a vice president of the National Basketball Players Association, says that they will appeal both the ban and the conditions of Irving's return. Now, this information is and it's not surprising to me. It's surprising one because these NBA players recognize the Nets in the NBA aren't doing right by Kyrie. And the reason that I say this is because the Nets reportedly knew that Kyrie was unlikely to fulfill those six conditions to return, which would get him released by the organization. They're essentially baiting the guy to get released because they don't want to pay him. They don't want him on the team anymore. So the National Basketball Players Association, they have a meeting with Adam Silver tomorrow. And Brown stated that the checklist was overly stringent. And for Jalen to be saying this openly means the overwhelming majority of players in that uh, players association had that have some influence on this decision they see it as that way as well which why, which is why people are mad because they feel like the nets and the nba overplayed their hand Jalen brown also stated that he speaks for many of the players when i say that the punishment isn't fair in view of the mbpa because the collective bargaining agreement doesn't have any language that addresses social media remarks and they are going to file the appeal. They got a meeting with Adam Silver tomorrow. Okay, so this is crazy news. I've never seen the Players Association try to appeal somebody's suspension. I've never seen that before. This is the first time I'm hearing of that. And for me, I think it kind of, for, for everybody that's kind of upset with how the NBA overplayed their hand in this situation, whether you agree Kyrie was right or wrong, you know, the man apologized. He tried to take accountability for it. And at the end of the day, he posted a link, right? Nobody, nobody is saying that they agree with what was in the documentary or what wasn't in the documentary, yada, yada, yada. That's not the point that we're talking about. It's the fact that the NBA and the Nets, they tried to push this guy out of the NBA by creating these expectations that they knew he would not achieve. So with that being said, I am so curious to see how this goes because we already know, like I said, Adam Silver has a personal investment in this matter. Adam Silver is very upset with Kyrie because Adam Silver is also of the Jewish faith. So he has a personal investment in this matter. And I don't know how that meeting is going to go when the Players Association comes out and they say, look, this is not right. We're about to try to appeal this decision. That's crazy to me. This NBA season is nuts. Like it is absolutely nuts. Um, and then to speak to the point of the Nets supposedly uh, making this making this six conditions for him to return, which could get him released. That's pretty crazy. So when we look at it, he had to what issue an apology for posting a link, complete an anti hate cause, uh, donate five hundred thousand dollars to an organization, complete sensitivity training um complete anti-semitic anti-hate training by the nets meet with representatives of the anti-defamation league and jewish uh, leaders of the jewish community after completing one through five meet with the owner of the nets franchise and demonstrate the lessons that he learned and the gravity of harm in the situation like i said it seems like they're trying to break this guy like that's a lot for a guy to return that's a lot. And he posted a link. He denounced it many times that he's not anti-Semitic. He's not hateful. Even Jalen Brown, who has played with this guy for two years. Kyrie Irving was a Boston Celtics. Jalen Brown, who played for this guy for two years, is like, I don't think and uh, I don't think Kyrie's anti-Semitic. CJ McCollum said it earlier. If you guys want to check out that link as well, uh, he said, I don't think Kyrie Irving's is racist. So you got all these players and all these NBA players coming out in support of Kyrie Irving. Um, because they know what the nets are doing is wrong it's like they're trying to make this dude complete a school project or something and like i said i get it because whatever the the the, the nets are trying to do they're trying to maintain their brand like i understand from a business standpoint right but typically when stuff happens like this you get the apology and it's over with y'all suspended the guy because he refused to apologize the way you wanted him to apologize that was it. 
it wasn't because he posted the link or y'all would have suspended him at the time he posted the link y'all suspended the guy because he refused to apologize the way that y'all wanted to apologize everybody picked up on that nba players picked up on that the fans picked up on that it was only the people that was tap dancing in the media that really didn't understand that that was a part of the problem and like i said in my last video um it was the types of questions they were asking this guy in the media after he already stated he is opposed to whatever those views are and Kyrie stated y'all are trying to put me into this corner like y'all trying to label me as something i'm not and again we all agree we all agree whatever it was in the documentary whatever is hateful nobody's condoning that at the end of the day nobody's condoning that nobody's saying the false information is correct he made a mistake he apologized for it let the man play basketball until next time this is episode of no time to explain